Hey, how you doing? It's your friend Leonardo Cavalli, author of the book 24 in Divorce from Tragedy to Triumph. Hope you're all having a great day. Um, simply just wanted to chat with you today about finding a good man. You know, uh, the reason why I bring that up is because I have a lot of lady, you know, friends and, and, and fans that unfortunately have grown up in broken homes. So a lot of them, you know, have come to me and said, I, I I honestly don't know what a good man looks like so I took it upon myself to uh, make a little list and also keep in mind that I'm not talking about you know physical traits at all because as we all know beauty comes in all shapes and sizes and at the end of the day it's fleeting and it fades so you'd want to focus on characteristics because these are the things that will be raising your children okay so uh, first things first my father always mentioned that a good man is a man that keeps his word so ladies if you're with a man who keeps making promises and breaking promises and making them and breaking them you might want to run in a different direction because if we're supposed to put a brick down but you don't if we're supposed to do something and you won't then how are we supposed to build or progress together so that makes sense uh, second thing is you know you it's okay to look for a man who's a good provider you know not saying that he has to be balling out of control and you know not to be a gold digger or anything but the fact of the matter is there's nothing wrong with wanting a man who's ambitious and has a goal in place and you know and, and wants to take care of himself and take care of you and possibly future children you know um, these are things that you want to keep in the back of your mind and I understand that there's certain times where uh, men are down and out and that's where you have to make a really wise decision if you're gonna be with a man who's just a dreamer or a man who actually has a drawn-out plan a structured plan of how he's gonna get from A to Z and how he's explaining it to you as well because your time is valuable hope you get that number three find a man who has a moral compass at the end of the day um, you know I'm not telling you what to believe in however for myself I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ you know and my girl is going to know that I'm faithful to her because I'm being faithful to her as a byproduct of me being faithful to him you know so it's not that she's the best looking girl or that she's this or she's the smartest but it comes out to the fact that I have a relationship with him and because I know that he's leading me I know that she'll be able to trust my judgment as well and I know that that's a problem in a lot of people's homes where they're like oh my god I don't want to follow me but but where are you going which brings me to my next point ladies find a man who's a leader find a man who's who actually has a game plan in place and can break things down to you like I mentioned um, and and knows knows where he he wants to go I, I I talk to some guys and I'm like, hey, whatever happened to you and uh, so and so? He's like, man, you know she plans, you know what I'm saying? I was like, how, how she how she playing? Well, man, she gonna she gonna ask me what my five year plan is. You know, man, I don't even know what I ate for breakfast this morning or what I'm gonna eat for t tomorrow. You know, and I'm like, yeah, that's that's crazy. That's that's crazy. How dare she wanna want you know someone to to have a plan for her life or for your life? That's 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 wild. Matter of fact, she. What's, what's her number, dog? I, that's that's crazy. She wanted a man with a plan. <laughs> that's so that's so 1970, man. What's her number? You said yeah, six six one six one two. Okay, seven four seven. Yeah, man. That's that's why I'm gonna call her and tell her how how out of line she is. How dare her talk to you that way, man? These these ladies these days, 2017. It's crazy, man. Yeah, and, and matter of fact, what I'm really gonna do? I'm gonna take her to dinner. You know what I'm saying? Just just lay it on her face to face. Just just let her know how stupid she is for wanting a man with a plan. How crazy? What's her favorite restaurant again? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? She, does she like flowers? Yeah, all right, man. That's right, man. But that's crazy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let her know. You know, I'm gonna let her know. You know, but um, yeah, I'm gonna let her know. Uh, but but anyway, uh, like I was honestly trying to say. It just comes down to the point of knowing your value as, as, as a lady. And I don't care how many men possibly walked out on your on your you know mom back in the day. I don't care how many men walked out on you. At the end of the day, you still deserve the best. And I don't want anyone to be able to talk down to you or belittle what you've done in your life. You still deserve the best. Be your best, but you still deserve the best. So with that being said, again, my name is Leonardo Cavalli, author of the book 24 and Divorce. You can go get it at Barnes & Noble or Amazon.com or my website, www.24andivorce.com. <laughs> but um, besides that, I want to know what your thoughts are or what a good man is. Drop your comments below. Let me know what you think. What is a good man? I know I didn't cover everything, but like I said, I want to hear from you, the people. Let me know. So I've been solo a long time So many girls around the world But they always came at the wrong time